My name is Kira. And I'm Aisha. Today, we're going to teach you how to convert from binary to decimal. When we learn how to count, we learn 10 single digit numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. This is called counting in the decimal number system, or base 10. When learning how to read decimals, we learn about the ones place, which is 10 to the 0, the tens place, the hundreds place, etc. When we count, we do it in groups of 10. For example, if we start at 20, we have 20, 21, 22, 23, all the way up to 29, giving us 10 numbers, and then we switch to 30. Every 10 numbers, we change the leading digit in whatever number we are talking about. And this is what base 10 does. It's what it means. We count things in groups of 10. In binary, or base 2, we count things in groups of 2. Instead of having 10 numbers, 0 through 9, we have two numbers, namely 0 and 1. Counting in binary is useful for many applications in electronics and programming. For example, in digital electronics, a system of ones and zeros is used to indicate the presence of current through a particular component in a circuit. This is used to create gates in digital circuits. But staring at a number in binary like this doesn't actually mean that much to us, or at least as much as it does to computers. So we are going to teach you how to make sense of this by converting it into decimal. Like how the decimal system uses powers of 10, the binary system uses powers of 2. So up here in our number 16 to 40, written in decimal, we have 0, 10 to the zeros, or 0 ones. We have 4 tens, 2 one hundreds, and so on. Down here in this lovely binary number, 11001101, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, we have 1, 2 to the 0, or 1, 1, 0 twos, 1, 4, 1, 8, 0 sixteens, 0 32s, 1, 64, and 1, 128. To get this binary number into a decimal number, we add the powers of 2 that are present. So there is 1, 128. So we take 128 plus 64. There is no 32 and no 16, but there is an 8. And there is also a 4, no 2, but there is a 1. And the sum of these powers of 2 is 229. So the binary number 11001101 is the same as 229 in decimal. Now here we have another example, 1001110000. Now we'll do the same thing that we did last time. We count 01s, 02s, 04s, 18, 116, 132, 064s, 0128s, and 1, 256. We again add the powers of 2 that do exist. So we have 256 from up here plus 32 plus 16 plus 8. All in all, that gives us 312. Now, every number you can think of in decimal, like it is up here, can be written in binary. And now you know how to convert from binary to decimal. The larger the number is in decimal, the longer the strings of 1 and zeros will be. Now, I guarantee it, every single number can be written as the powers of 2. If you want to learn more about that, you should take a course in number theory. But for now, you have the power to interpret any number, whether it is given to you in decimal or in binary. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, go forth. No, go second. And happy counting. Well, calculator.